Hey, fam. Kings and blessings. So, um, I pray everyone is doing amazing. I know this word is about to hold some weight because this is my fourth time actually recording this. And I received complications, but no opposition is going to stop the word of the Lord from being released, not today or any other day. So, with that being said, let's get it. Many people are going to be distracted by the things that they see and the things that they hear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When fear grips a person, it becomes a distraction. It becomes something that is consistently on your mind that will bring worry, panic, anxiety. All right? That is not how we operate in the kingdom. See, what I need you to understand is when you are walking with Christ, angels are walking with you. There is a hedge of protection that is around and about you. You are going to hear about so many different deaths. You're going to hear about so many different calamities and so many different things happening. However, if you are in that secret place with God, if you are surrendered to the Father, to the Almighty, if you are taking heed to his voice, He is going to protect you. He is going to keep you and he is going to cover you under the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. So I'm here to tell you not to worry. Don't fret because all things that are written will indeed come to pass. That's why God made us aware that it's going to be just like it was in the days of Noah before the return of Christ. He did not hide that from us. Being that God did not hide that from us, that means that it's something that he needed us to know. What we are going to have to do as the body of Christ, we are going to have to watch as well as pray. Because what's happening right now, the world is watching so many things that are being exposed. So many things are happening. So many things are and will pop off. This right here is just the tip of the iceberg. The rabbit hole is going to go so deep. So as we watch and we see these things come to pass, we are going to have to be in a state where we are going to have to pray. What good is it to watch if we're not on the wall? We are going to have to be able to hear God's voice. In order to hear God's voice, that means that we are going to have to be spending time with God. God is going to be giving his people instructions. Some of those instructions are going to look like this. Oh, I plan on going to the grocery store later. Christ may say, no, I need you to hold off on that trip till tomorrow. You may have plans coming up and God may tell you, no, don't go here. Don't go there. God is going to give his people specific instructions and the only way that we are going to be able to take heed to his voice is if we are spending time with him how are we going to be in a place where we're armored up on daily basis if we have pieces and bits of armor on it's not going to be good enough if we got on our helmet but then we don't have on that breastplate then that means that our heart is going to be open for attack Vice versa. If we got the shield on and don't got the helmet on, Satan going to come for our head. We cannot be in a situation where we're giving Satan a, a leverage, where we are giving him hierarchy over us when we're the ones that have the authority in Christ Jesus. What does that mean? That means no matter what pull up on you, you have authority. In the name of Jesus Christ, think about this. The word of God says that we will end up doing greater works than Christ did through the authority given through Jesus Christ. We don't know what that's going to look like. So if we see entities, no matter what it may be, we have power and authority through the blood of Jesus Christ to command it to bow to command it to flee in the name of Jesus. But if we have the spirit of fear that grips us, we're not going to be able to move. We we ain't going to be able to.
to talk. No, we have to be in the secret place now. Not later, but now. It's so many things that God has already revealed. And I guess for some, it's a surprise. But for many, it's not. Because God has already revealed so many things to his servants that has been in that secret place with him. Now, what is our responsibility? Our responsibility is to remain in Christ. Fear has to flee in the name of Jesus. You have the power to bind and you have the power to lose. So in the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of fear that will come and try to grip the hearts and the minds of the people of God. Do you not understand? God gives us a way of escape. And his word also says that he will deliver us from every trouble. But here's the thing. How do we know what? God is going to do to deliver us, to keep us and to cover us. We have to be able to follow his instructions. And to follow his instructions means that we have to know his voice. So with that being said, get in that secret place, get in your word, read, watch, pray, study to show yourself approved. Because again, First thing Christ said was upon his return out of everything else that's going to happen is be sure that no man deceives you. We have to be able to discern. And to be able to discern, we have to be in that secret place with God. I love y'all. I'm about to get back in here to my babies. God bless. Be encouraged. And don't be fear. Full understand you are the remnant the elect you about that life you got to be about that life was david scared of goliath no bro he knew who was backing him the god of israel and we are israel so let's get it i love y'all i'm out